The preliminary hearing for Alfonso Frank Frazetta Jr., who faces charges of trying to steal $20 million of paintings from his family's art museum, was continued today in District Court in Marshall's Creek. Frazetta left today's hearing with a reduced bail after District Judge Brian Germano agreed to lower the bail from $500,000 to $50,000. Speaking to reporters outside District Court in Marshall's Creek today, Frazetta admitted to breaking into the museum, but says he took the art not to steal it, rather to prevent the art from being sold by his brother and two sisters. Like I said, there's no value for stolen art. Black market is no value, so I was just protecting it. That's all as simple as that. I love my father dearly. I wish I could see him. I embarrassed my family for being arrested, yes. Uh, but like I said, my goal is to hopefully get my father back in control to protect him. And, you know, he's 81 years old. Frazetta's younger brother Bill said today outside court he hopes the family can resolve the matter before the case ever goes to trial. Uh, it's painful for any father to go through something like this, you know. But once again, hopefully um, somehow we can we can work things out. Adeline Bianco, a notary public from ANS Cats Insurance, said that nine days before Frazetta Jr. is accused of stealing the art, Frank Sr., the artist, came to her and had her notarize a document shifting power of attorney from Frazetta's three other children to Frank Jr. Uh, Frank Frazetta Sr. came into my office on November 30th to do a revocation of a power of attorney taking away the rights from Billy, Heidi, and Holly. He made his statements. I had him there for almost quite an hour to make sure he was who he was and he was in his right frame of mind and he was. He said that his children were stealing from him and that he wanted Frank Jr. to do whatever it took under any means to secure his paintings and not have them sold or taken from him. Bianco said she handed that notarized document over to the Monroe County District Attorney's Office. Reporting in Marshall's Creek for the Pocono Record, I'm David Kidwell.